the most interesting thing that happened in self-driving cars in the last month, and I feel like it was a bit under the radar, was actually Rivian going all in on AI. Um, you know, they announced this in in December. They've been um, they've been working on this essentially for four years, and they took the, the the wraps off of it. They announced that they're making their own chip. They have one of Tesla's former you know engineers that's now their head of uh, autonomy. Uh, they released their own chip, so they're they're sort of going to have all, all of their own processing power, similar to Tesla. They are integrating uh, lidar into the vehicle, right? So one of the problem with the edge cases of uh, self driving is that you know you the, in the dark uh, in in other things radar and lidar which tesla vehicles don't have uh, it makes it really tough when it's in the dark when it's raining when you have sort of these uh, other edge cases Tesla said we're never putting lidar in because it's just too expensive because it used to cost 10 to 20 thousand dollars to put lidar in the vehicle but now it's only cost a few thousand dollars and and it doesn't have those big giant spinning things on the vehicle anymore it it's actually looks like just above the visor um, essentially they said they're working toward level four uh, uh, autonomy that's true um, autonomy at that point. that's true autonomy that where you can send the vehicle to go pick up your kids where you it can drive you to the airport and then drive itself home and park itself